Okay, uh, this video is not for kids. You have to be 13 and over in order to watch. Alright, and uh, my Sonic Adventure 2 Battle Let's Play has been cancelled because I lost interest. Moving on! Hello everyone! Welcome to my playthrough on Sonic Mania. Well, yeah, I cancelled the Adventure 2 Battle Let's Play, and don't worry, don't worry, after I'm done with this Let's Play, I'll take a break from Sonic and do something else, alright? I, like, you know, I know, like, you guys are probably sick and tired of this blue motherfucker right now. You're sick and tired of this blue bastard, I get it, I get it. Yeah, don't worry, don't worry, I will do other things other than Sonic. Alright, so calm down. <laughs> and uh, yes, this song actually plays if you let the intro roll a second time. So yes, I was standing here for two minutes. Or was it more than two minutes? I forgot how long this intro is. <laughs> but yeah, this is uh, one of my favourite games of all time. Like, you know, um, I remember I got this on the day it came out. Oh, um, this is the, uh, like, you know... This is the Xbox One version, uh, as you know, because I do not care of, like, well, because even though I have a PS4, I can't be asked to capture a PS4, and this is the version I own, alright? And yes, I am playing it off the Mania Plus disc, but, uh, we are not playing the uh, Mania Plus mode at all. We are... Yes, I give it... Yes, I know, I know. Oh, we are just playing the original Mania mode. So yeah, um, I know it's weird, but I completed the game on here, and no, I am not getting the uh, best ending because uh, fuck doing that shit. <laughs> All right, I um, like you know because uh, here's the thing, like yeah, I understand, but I can't get the chaos emeralds. I can complete. I know it has an extra final boss, and that's the true ending. I'm sorry, people, but I can only get to the uh, bad ending. And no, I will not be playing as a uh, my as a uh, mighty the armadillo or Ray the flying squirrel at all. I don't know if I will do separate playthroughs of this game. I don't know if I'll just uh, I don't know if I'll do encore mode. I don't know if I will do uh, like you know oh uh, a playthrough that's exclusive to Knuckles because Knuckles gets some exclusive stuff in this game. He does. I don't know. But uh, yeah, this is Sonic Mania. It's pretty much Sonic Generations 2 without modern Sonic when you come to think about it, but it's still a fun game. And you know, it's still a good game. And yes, I did say it's pretty much Sonic Generations without modern Sonic. Like, you know, because even- what the fuck? Okay, my controller just all of a sudden malfunctioned on me, what the fuck? Okay. Anyway, as I was saying before my controller fidgeted out, um, yeah, uh, because when you think about it, even though this game actually has new stages, there's only four new stages. The rest of the stages are just pretty much revisits. It's so, like, you know, there's 12 stages, and uh, eight of those stages are pretty much reused stages. They are. And why does my controller like, keep. Get out of the. What the fuck? Okay. What the hell? Okay, excuse me for a minute, people. Shit. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, so pretty much there's two acts per zone, like in, uh, Sonic 2 and 3. Is so pretty much, like, you know, that's actually, like, um... When you think about it, that's, like, 24 levels. So, yeah. And even though I'm not getting all the Chaos Emeralds, I might as well show you what the special stages in this game look like, alright? So pretty much, you're uh, chasing this UFO while collecting blue orbs, and the rings are your time limit. The, the more rings you collect, the more time you'll have. And uh, by the way, even though the blue orbs respawn, the rings don't, so you've got to be careful. Because if you're not, you'll run out of time, and well, yeah. And also, in later special stages, they actually have areas where you can fall off cliffs. 
So you really want to be careful, or when it comes to those ones. And sadly, I'm not careful enough. So yeah. Yeah, the music in this game is pretty damn good. Uh, I think the guy who did the music in this game, I forgot it. Uh, I think his name is, well, I don't think this is his real name, but I know this is his composer name. I think his composer name is T Lopes. Like, you know, he's, uh, he also, uh, like, you know, yeah, he does the music in this game. And, uh, if you watch a YouTuber known as Son Call Me Johnny, uh, T Loops also did the mu music for his, uh, intro theme. So, uh, yeah. You know, sadly, I do not have enough money to afford T Loops. I am depressed, I know. <laughs> oh, but, you know what, it doesn't matter. And we got the Chaos Emerald, and this will be the only Chaos Emerald we get, alright? Like I said, I am terrible at special stages. I can't complete them. <laughs> so, yeah. That reminds me, I still need to do a video about Super Sonic and Sonic Generation. So, I like I still do it later on. I mean, like, you know, oh, I mean, like, brain. Oh, shit. I just. Oh, fuck. I just realized what I did. I was meant to get the invincibility, and now I cannot. That's lovely, thanks for that game. Alright, oh well, well this boss is piss easy anyway. Yeah, there's an, there was an invincibility, uh, well, thing over there, and pretty much, like, you know, uh, you could uh, hit this thing without uh, needing to, uh, oh shit, well, oh crap, okay, 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 shit, 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 okay. Alright, yeah, he needs one more hit, and... Yeah, some of these bosses are good, but some of them are like... Some of them are like, really good, some of them are like, pathetically easy, and some of them are just annoying as fuck. We'll get to that when we... Well, I'll, I will tell you which one's annoying as fuck when we get to, um... Uh, Mirage Saloon Act 1. Seriously, that boss can go fuck itself. And also the boss in, um... And also, uh, the boss in, a uh, what's it called? I think Style Does Speedway Act 2. Yeah, they changed it. Thanks for that, by the way. Yeah, and it becomes annoying and a fucking nightmare. I preferred the original, and they just decided to fuck it up. Ah, that's good scratching the eye. Come on. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Oh crap, oh crap, go, go, go. Whoa! Oh ho! Nice! Nice, nice. Oh, 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 give me the fire shield, give me the fire shield, thank you, because I need some. I need those rings for extra lives. Ah! Ah! Ah, damn, it didn't work. Oh well. Oh, oh yeah, for God. There we go. For some reason the fire dash wasn't working, never- Oh, well, ow! Oh, 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 oh! Come on. Yes! Extra life, baby! Oh, yeah! I like- Oh, crap, did I? Okay, no, I did it. I thought I had extra speed shoes on then for a minute. I was like, oh, crap, that ain't good. Ow! And yeah, instead of, like, the uh, usual, you know, those speed shoes, like, um... Having like a more high pitched version of the main of like the uh, level, all the uh, theme tune that's playing. What the fuck it malfunction again? Okay, anyway, a uh, like in, like instead of like a speed up version of like the uh, level's main theme tune, the speed shoes actually have their own theme tune in this game. It's actually kind of cool. Haven't I mentioned that this game's awesome yet? This game's fucking awesome. Okay, I might as well show this off, actually, before we continue. Yes, the Blue Sphere special stages from Sonic 3 and Knuckles are here. And I am terrible at them. Alright. As I just showcased right now. <laughs> to be honest, that was actually my fault. I am pretty bad at them. In fact, I think they're actually harder than the uh, Halfpipe from uh, Sonic 2. 
Speaking of which, I actually might get that on Steam and do a Let's Play on that one day. I'm not sure. Hmm. Alright, 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 yeah, yeah. So, what you want to do is just go up behind him and out, and pretty much just a home in the, home in the, uh, not home in the attack, three, jump up, a, jump up his ass, pretty much, lined up, because this, uh, this boss is pretty pathetic. Yeah, it is pathetic, just like that. Like how pain that capsule was pathetic. <laughs> oh boy, I'm going to hell. Oh yeah, um... This game was released in uh, August 15th, 2017. It was originally meant to be released in April of 2017 for uh, Sonic's, uh, uh, Lion Earth, Just in time for Sonic's 25th anniversary. Ended up being released on the 26th anniversary. Same thing with Forces, except this was way better than Forces. And Forces came out afterwards. That is embarrassing. I heard Forces had more time and development put into it than this game, and if that's the case, that is really embarrassing. I mean, I am one of the weirdos that likes forces, but even I won't defend that game. I mean, I like it, but I won't fucking defend it, because, like, you know... Oh, I do think it's a good game, but there are some things about that game that also really piss me off. If you've watched my Sonic Forces Let's Play, you'll know what I'm talking about. In fact, I wasn't even planning to do a Let's Play on this game, but after I said fuck it, cancelled the Adventure 2 Battle Let's Play, I said, you know what, screw it. Uh, yes, there we go. Oh shit. <laughs> Thanks, Tails! Thanks for taking a hit for me, pal! Oh god, I hate these fucking things. I really do. By the way, yeah, please don't uh, let these things touch you when you're at a wall. Because they're, they're instant kill, even if you have rings, so yeah. It is kind of bullshit. Hopefully we do not have to hear the fucking drumming thing. Oh! <laughs> ah, you son of a bitch, you cannot get me, can ya? Oh boy, at least I know we do not have to worry about air bubbles for the moment. That comes later. Originally, I was planning to do a Let's Play on Back to the Future the game, but I'm not sure. Do you guys want me to do a Let's Play of Telltale's Back to the Future? Oh shit. It, if you do, I am willing. I am happy to do it. it I'm willing. Ha I, I am happy to do that game. But, you know. I'm not sure, because at the end of the day, I'll decide whether I'll do that game or not. But, if you guys are interested, let me know in the comments, do you want me to play that game in for the channel? Because it is a good game. It is pretty much like... Also, you know how a lot of people say, Oh, we want Back to the Future 4. Technically speaking, Back to the Future the game is Back to the Future 4. So it's pretty much kind of like Ghostbusters the video game in that regard. Even though that argument's technically kind of fucking pointless, because uh, like Ghostbusters Afterlife comes out next month. That's if it doesn't get delayed again. But then again, that's at the time of this recording. Probably might have been delayed already, I don't know. Oh fucking no, really. Also, yeah, this boss, pathetic, piss easy, it really is. I mean, like, yeah, you'll get hit, but you're not gonna die on this boss at all. A fucking three-year-old can do this. Now, scratch that, a fucking one-year-old can do this. Literally, just avoid the attacks and keep hitting him. This is probably one of the worst bosses in the game because of how boring it is. Like, you know, and there's another one in Stardust Speedway Act 1 that's just boring as fuck as well. See, just like that. Not even a fucking scratch. Nice, got an extra life out of that, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh shit, Tails, wait for me! <laughs> anyway, oh god. Oh, and by the way, this music, motherfucker.
fucking awesome. I love this. I love this track. It's so good. Yeah, by the way, you might hear me bang on about music way too much in this Let's Play, but you can't really blame me because the music in this game is that fucking good. And when we get to Studio Opulus Act 1, like, mwah, and that, is, that, is, that, that is good music. That is good music right there. Uh, I mean, it's like if Bayonetta produced sexy music. Wait, what? Don't ask. Don't, don't, don't ask. Actually, I might do a Let's Play on Bayonetta. I'm not sure. Hmm. That. Ooh, would you like me to do a Let Bayonetta Let's Play? Ooh. That would be kind of cool. I mean, like, you know, playing a game with a sexy witch in it? Hell yeah! Yeah, I guess I can do that. Fuck yes, I'm up for it. Like, you know, uh, I, mm, I'm also planning to do a Let's Play on the Deadpool game, but I'm not sure. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like Deadpool, and the game's fucking awesome, but, you know. Ooh, another extra life! Uh, yeah, by the way, uh, there's one Sonic game I know I'm definitely not going to do a Let's Play on. Well, actually, kind of a few. I'm not going to be doing a Let's Play on Secret Rings, because, uh, fuck that game. Uh, and I'm not going to be doing a Let's Play on, um... Shit, I forgot what it was called. Uh, Sonic 4, there we go. Yeah, I forgot that. How is that game hard to remember? Oh, yeah, because it's really fucking forgettable. Yeah, I'm not going to be doing a Let's Play on Sonic 4. Maybe Sonic CD, or maybe Sonic 1 or 2, I'm not sure at the moment though. I guess I could do Sonic 2 for Steam. Or Sonic 3D Blast. I might do Sonic 3D Blast, actually. Yeah, I'll do Sonic 3D Blast, yeah. Oh, 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 ah, there we go. Yeah, you don't need to jump up in order to get that thing open. Sonic Skull will just crack it for you. Sonic is kind of like Hammerhead from Spider-Man confirmed. <laughs> I have put way too many ideas in someone's head, haven't I? And the weirdest boss fight in the fucking game right here. Yep, if you're wondering what I'm talking about, if you're a hardcore Sonic fan, you will get this reference. If you're just a casual fan, you'll think, what the actual fuck am I looking at? Alright, this is pretty much uh, a Poyo Poyo ripoff. I mean, uh, Dr. Egg. It's a reference to Dr. Eggman's Mean Bean Machine. Like, you know, it's pretty much that. What you have to do is pretty much just, uh, like, you know, uh, make sure that you do not, well, get, well, like, squished or something. Oh, boy. It, it, it's so stupid and silly, but it is kind of fun and funny. This is what you have to do. Uh, you can't. You have to uh, have the uh, lowest. Uh, you can't like have the uh, fucking like germs go all the way at the top because, uh, well, if you do, you'll die. So yeah, you have to make sure that it happens to Eggman and not to you. Don't worry about this. No, if you know what you're doing, this. It, like I said, this is piss easy. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, yeah, this should do it. Yeah, that should do it. Yes, bingo presto! <laughs> Double, baby! Oh, yeah! Also, music, like I said, pretty fucking good. I don't know what. I don't know why, though, out of all the things they would reference fucking Mean Bean Machine. Here's the thing, and like, you know, oh, I, I'm 19 years old. I'm 19 years old, and I only got this reference because I grew up with Sonic Mega Collection Plus for the PS2. Do I get enough extra life? No, I don't. Aww. Oh well.
Studio Optimus Act 1. Well, we're not going to be playing it today, because I think that's enough for today. Please like, subscribe, comment below, and I'm giving the gamer out. And yes, Sonic, you will have to wait. I'm impatient as well, but videos take time.